Oh, what is going on everybody? Today's video is going to be a super informative video. Needed video for anybody that is looking into sustainable living, off-grid living. I am at bigbattery.com, which is a massive distributor of big batteries. And I've got an array of batteries back here. I have an array of batteries against this wall. And then I've got the big mamma jammas here and here literally power an entire house which is what i'm going to get into these are also good for van life we have battery galore here we're going to go look at their facilities we're going to talk to some of the team here and the ceo of the company wait until you guys hear the backstory of everything that is happening here at bigbattery.com stay tuned for all of this because here we go so before we bring in uh, the people to kind of talk to me and kind of walk through all of their product lines and really what these batteries are doing, um, obviously consider subscribing to the channel. What I do here is a lot of sustainable living, van life content, and I am now designing and building my own off-grid tiny home. And we're gonna talk about cell configurations and we're gonna actually talk to a former NASA engineer that works here at bigbattery.com. And I believe there is a discount for people that is in the description below, a link to the where you need to go with the code that will get you a, I believe 10% off, but I will make sure that I will verify that with the people when I do talk to them. These batteries are ridiculous. One of the main reasons why I wanted to work with bigbattery.com was I saw the price point. Now guys, you have to understand that I get hit up by companies left and right. Hey, come out and do a video. I turned down I don't know, 80, 90% of that. When I see a company like bigbattery.com that comes along, I immediately am like, oh, here we go, another company. I look deeper into it and I was like, why is their price point so much cheaper? What is going on? Why is there a red flag to me? I talked to the owner of the company and I talked to some of the engineers here and they broke it down to me systematically. It makes perfect sense. I will try and ask those kind of questions in this video so you guys understand yourself. Enough out of me. Let's get the really cool people on this camera so we can have a full on, I guess, shop tour or a company tour with Big Battery. Uh, you know, right now we are sitting in Marshall's office, which I'm about to show here in a second. Yeah, Marshall, I'm recording. <laughs> Uh, behind me is actually my contact. I gotta give him props. You know, this guy's really been taking good care of me, Graham, and uh, you know, he's one of the employees here at Big Battery. Uh, you know, no employee gets overlooked, and Graham has been phenomenal. So, uh, thank can't, you. can't hate on Graham, dude. I, yeah, you know, you know hey, what I mean, thank dude? you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much, buddy. Yeah. Let's swing it over to Marshall so he can kind of explain what's going on here. So, give me one second. Marshall, dude, you know me, you know my channel, you know that I don't like it's all good. I know you're a little nervous on camera. It's okay, buddy. I'm all right. All right, good. Uh, you know what's funny is really the, the really smart people are usually the ones that are nervous on camera, Graham. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and uh, you've got a wall of diplomas and accolades here that I kind of wanted to touch on, which makes you extremely smart, by the way. So sorry to pump you up a little bit. It looks like you have a Bachelor of Science and a Master's of Science in Aerospace Engineering. That's correct. My goodness. Okay. You also were a former NASA engineer. Correct. I worked at NASA for 12 years doing oh my God. vehicle design and spacecraft design. Uh, um, you worked on what projects? I worked on the shuttle. Uh, I worked on the Orion spacecraft. Okay. I worked on the SpaceX Dragon. Right there? Uh, yeah, this this one right here. This patch has been in space. And then that's the you know SpaceX Elon Musk one. And then there's the shuttle one right there. This that, one? Yeah, has this flag been in space too? Yeah, that flag has been in space. The other one... There's a patch over there. So that's the Orion one. That's another oh shuttle one. This that. is crazy. Dude, you have a, like literally a wall full of just craziness. And then that one over there, that's a piece of the parachute for ECA exploration flight test. You designed that, right? Uh, I worked on the uh, parachute extraction system. Okay. Yeah. So my point to all of that, saying all of that, is there's not just some like guy that they pulled off the street to work here at bigbattery.com you have you're literally an engineering genius you're an aerospace engineer you're a genius well uh, <laughs> so I, what, what i what i did what i did lines up with this because um i want to be at the edge of technology i believe lithium is the future i believe that lead acid is dead and 90 percent of application possibly higher than that it's going to be replaced with lithium 
Lithium is an ion, one electron. It's the lightest element that you can you can get as much power as you can out of it. So it's going to be the future, and I want to be part of the future. That's pretty amazing. The, the team here at Big Battery created the longest range electric EV vehicle? Yeah, we, yeah, they... Uh, or hold records. We hold the world record. Um, our, our team uh, co co-designed with ITAP, ITS at Partners, a the longest range electric vehicle, and it went 999 point something miles. You couldn't hit a thousand, <laughs> seriously? You couldn't hit a thousand. No, but the record still stands today. It's okay. been four years. We're gonna build the longest range golf cart that's gonna go from uh, from here to Mexico. What, really? Oh, by the way, we're in Los Angeles right now, everybody. Yeah, our headquarters are in Los Angeles. Are you right? literally just like somebody's going to get in it one day and just drive it to Mexico? We haven't planned it. I, <laughs> I, I, I figured out what battery we're going to put in it, but that's as far as we've we've gone. <laughs> so you, you already know what battery's in it? Yeah, we, yeah. yeah we've calculated how much energy it needs to get there. And Are, then we know we can fit uh, that in the battery bay. Oh my God. So we're, we're not going to have them like hanging off the sides or anything. You kind of answered my main question is why is somebody like yourself, you could get a job literally anywhere in the world. Marshall, like you are, you are a very smart individual. Well, you could get a job anywhere in the world. Why are you here at Big Battery? But you said it kind of a minute ago. Yeah. So um, I, I did mention about how my skills kind of align. So, so an integration engineer, a designer, of spacecraft and our designer of a product with uh, you know technology that, that that needs to perform at a high level it's gonna it, it's not exactly the same but I, I was I was part of making sure that products don't fail you don't want your product to fail right mm -hmm. you want you, you want it to be safe so we work with the safest chemistries we do we have redundant safety systems and we make sure that it's reliable and safe what better than a NASA engineer so Eric Lundgren's my best friend, the CEO, and so he's been trying to get me to work here for a long time. So he finally uh, got me, and then, uh, yeah. Marshall, again, this is a phenomenal wall of accomplishments you have, also the wall behind me. You know, if you have time, I know you're a very busy individual, um, but if we could maybe walk out to the facility or even uh, yeah, I'll give you a tour. It's yeah, no give it. You want to give us a tour? Yeah, of course. yeah. Let's do that. Normally, Marshall, we'd have a bunch of workers here, but it's actually lunchtime. So yeah, you know, lunchtime. granted, they're not here right now. <laughs> so to build a battery, you got to start with a cell. So this is an example of a cell. It comes like this in a box, and these are the cells that go into, for example, our owl battery. So we'll drop these in, and we'll use a connection board, and then we'll um, wire up the the battery management system and put it up. So this is kind of a, an assembly area so what, you assemble all your batteries here in the states we assemble we assemble our batteries in the united states yeah wow we, we do different levels of assembly in different places we have uh, a large facility in china where we do like module assembly we do all of our final wiring and quality control in the united states so we're completely end to end um there's a most many uh, lithium manufacturers in the united states you know contract with a chinese company to build a product for them and they send it here and they're just a marketing company. We, we, we design all of our products from the ground up. Is that one of the reasons why your batteries are probably a lot cheaper than the other lithium batteries in the market? Yeah, because there's less people, um, there's less people in the way, right? So we, we, we do all of our own sourcing, manufacturing uh, from end to end completely. So there's no middleman. So you're buying directly from the manufacturer. So this is an example. Um, I'm just going to say I'm just going to show you what's on the line right now. Please. I showed you the cells that went in the owl over there. They're they're going to start in the the owl battery. That's our 12 volt, and we have a the same cell goes in our hawk, our 24 volt. It's a little taller. It just has more cells in it. This is the example of our Eagle golf cart battery. These are all the componentry inside, and the, this is in, in uh, the final steps of assembly. I think they're just doing the final wiring, and then the, and they're going to add the cover. And everybody, we're not going to go into the details of this because that's literally an entire video in itself and it's just crazy amounts of information. Let's walk around to an, an R&D section. So this is your entire R&D research and development area. It's our main area. Okay. <laughs> this is where we, we do the R&D on our components. So when we test a, B, a battery management system, uh, we do uh, breaker testing. We do all kinds of, of testing here at the component level. We do a little bit of prototyping here. There's another prototyping area. These are all prototype products. Uh, and we have our, we do our own wrapping, our, our laser lead machine. So this machine uh, lasers on our, our leads on some of our batteries. So we actually have a laser lead machine. 
A laser lead machine. What is that to people like myself that really has no idea what the heck you just said? It's a soldering machine. It solders, oh. it solders leads on, on the batteries. So, oh, yeah. okay. So a, a laser solder is a lot hotter when you can do aluminum and it's just a, a much better connection. So you're, you're not actually like hand soldering that stuff. Like literally no, this is a machine automated. that does it it's automated. automated. That's super right. better, obviously, right? Right. It's very repeatable and uh, this gives you more reliable connection. You also have a lot of employees here at, at BigBattery.com. It's not yeah. just it's not just like four of you in a, just a warehouse. In it's this facility, we're 50 employees, and then we have a facility in Dongguan that's about 100,000 square feet. I don't have the exact number, and there's about, I think, 40. A, a lot of this is finished product. You see finished products ready to go out. Um, this is an area where they're doing um, final assembly of our Rhino wall mounted battery i can't wait to talk more about this maybe in the room when we have all your battery array there yeah we'll talk about that more um you can see a little bit like in the side there that's a connection board so we build all of our components we build all of this this board is all designed in-house and built at our facility and you're not shying away from showing any of your interior components there's a lot of other companies out there that will shy away from kind of taking one of these apart and showing us the inside well, components. We're really proud of our components. There you go. Okay, I like it. Because we do all the design, we know what's in it and we know that, that it's a, we have to build something that's gonna make a 10 year warranty. So we can't just, you know, throw something out there. It has to be a real US based 10 year warranty for- 10 year warranty, you Four. just said that. Yeah. That is a massive warranty on a battery. Yeah. You gotta use the best cells. You gotta, you gotta pair it with the best components. You have to have the best safety features. There's a lot of things you have to do before you can justify a 10 year warranty. Yeah, I mean, you're standing behind a 10 year warranty. That's pretty impressive for anybody out there. I also think yesterday you and I talked that not only do you offer warranties, but you obviously offer like, you guys will like take it back completely and replace it and. Yeah, if the battery is, is something that uh, it doesn't perform the way it's intended to, we'll take it back, we'll cover the shipping and we'll send you back a replacement if we can't repair it. Awesome. Okay, let's go through this a little tight right here. They've got a piece of stuff. Come on, Marshall. I'm a big guy. <laughs> How many batteries does Big Battery technically have? How many SKUs? Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, that actually is probably well, a better question. We have ODM SKUs, we have consumer SKUs. So what you see on the website, um, how many do you have on the website currently? We have about 27. In the last four years, we've made about 27 different SKUs. So a lot of other companies have just made like one SKU in like the last like n any number of years, but we've made 27. So we have 27. a lot of batteries. And that ranges from 12 volt to 48 volt. Yeah, and that's our consumer. We have another dozen that are ODM products that go into a manufacturer's products and they private label. Yeah. So your batteries are golf carts, vans, RVs, Tiny homes, off grid, off grid, power, off grid homes. Absolutely. I yeah. just found out an entire hot springs is powered by you. Yeah, Mercy Hot Springs. Yep. Uh, it's completely uh, powered by uh, a bunch of Rhino uh, wall mounted batteries that we just saw. Well, we just saw. Great. Yeah. Yep. Cool. What else you got for me, so bud? This, this product is going out right now. Um, it's going out today, and we've got a lot of product that's already been picked up. So you do shipping and receiving at this location too? Correct. Oh, wow. Correct. Manufacturing, shipping, receiving. I mean, they're all here in this building. We're actually getting a, a larger building. We're adding about 100 square feet here in LA to another building within the next couple of months. So you don't need this chump of a YouTuber out here doing work. Uh, you guys are killing it already. Well, we, <laughs> I like to brag about our product. So okay, I'm I like it. I mean, you guys are doing really good work. Here's an example of a Kong Elite battery. Kong. So, Kong, right, Kong? Th that's the Kong Elite battery. Th this battery, so each one of these is, is a cell. And then this is a board that we make, our component company. Um, that's this board. And then we have the uh, battery management system here and the active balancer. So the B the, from what I understand, the BMS is the brains, obviously. Correct. And is it, it's a very intricate part of your whole battery configuration. Yeah, so one thing that lithium has that lead acid doesn't, it has an integrated battery management system that, that's in a, a lithium pack. And what that does for you is it protects the battery. It protects it from overcharging, undercharging. If you discharge, like lead acid, if you discharge a, a lithium battery too much, then you could damage the cell. So what we do is we put a BMS protection that stops the discharge at the correct level and stops the charging if it, re if it goes over voltage for some reason you have a problem with your charger. It also does a lot of other things to protect the, the cells. 
such as over amp, it does balancing, things like that. Cool. How do you handle, because lithium, because I, just because I know these things about lithium, lithium does not like cold weather. So how do you handle really cold weather with the, your, your lithium cells? So, so lithium, all LFP, lithium iron phosphate, which is uh, the, the safest chemistry that we use in all of our solar batteries, lithium iron phosphate, it can discharge at lower, at, at lower than freezing temperatures, but it can't charge at, at lower than freezing temperatures. So if you're charging the battery, you just have to ensure that um, it's going to be in a, in a it's going to be warm enough. Otherwise, the BMS won't let you charge. Okay. It'll stop the charging um, if the temperature drops below a certain amount. It'll still let you discharge, but it won't let you charge. It's actually smart enough to know the difference. All right. So we are in a different section of your warehouse right now. And forever for the YouTube universe, guys, I am sorry, but we're not cutting those fans off because those fans are actually testing stuff over there. So what's up, Marshall? So this area right here, uh, this is a an, uh, one of our engineers, Lid Cadena and she's an electronics engineer and she's helping us design uh, ODM batteries right now. So this is a prototype for a manufacturer. Okay. So we do manufacturer batteries, um, you know, for the manufacturer product customized for that, for that application. For example, we do um, for industrial applications such as scissor lifts, um, floor sweepers, batteries are in a lot of things, right? You know, lead acid can be replaced. It's gonna be replaced with lithium. It's just a matter of when, who's going to be uh, part of the future early and who's going to be behind. So uh, remind me your name again, I'm sorry. I'm Lee Cadena. Hi, how are you? Hi. Okay, and you are an yeah. electronics engineer, yeah, which we're is... we're working on this prototype right now. What is this? What are we looking at? Um, we're looking for, we're looking at a uh, battery, 16S. 7 kilowatt hour, 16S. Mm -hmm. 7 kilowatt hour? Yeah, yeah. for your books. A 48 volt seven and that are those the cells that are also in the rhino marshall correct that's okay correct. wow so that's what you're doing right now you're testing them all out making sure that nothing's going to be broken yeah, making it from scratch and then we're going to test it and then we're going to build it up and you're going to build it up wow we're going to put it in a case and we're going to send it to our odn customer for testing and if they get approval then we're going to build it for them i'm so glad that we get to see not just uh marshall and graham and jared we get to meet other engineers and part of the team so, so I have this another is important. engineer over here. Oh, what's up? Hey, what's up? This is Rod. <laughs> First of all, we have here the, this machine, which is specialized in testing only the cells individually. Um, we use it by use the cycling test um, procedure, especially for um, for cells. And also on the other side here, we have this machine, which is high end testing machine. Um, it actually, this one is for the packs, actually like when the battery is ready, we do this procedure of testing to make sure that everything is working fine and the battery is in the maximum performance of the peak. For now, for safety, we, we use this container so in, in, to increase the safety of the testing area. When you say safety, is it, is it, is it harmful for us to be walking inside no, of this no, container? No, it's, it's just in case because you know, here we are making sure that everything is going to be um, working super good and the best performance. We're trying to do whatever we can to make sure that everything is going to be working fine. Okay. But in case of anything happen, which is maybe could happen in anywhere, in any place in the world, we plan for the future to make everything going to be good. As an engineer, it's our responsibility to keep safe, to keep the environment safe also. And for people that don't, if there's a fire or anything like that, guys, these, all these balls that are up on the uh, wall here actually fire single your balls am i correct yeah okay exactly. great yeah so there's plenty of them to handle any yeah any, anything that happens happen, nothing's happened so, nothing happened so far so but if something happened we can control it excellent um so as you can see here it's um it's multiple channels um this is in the back the the, the first machine that we saw testing each cell individually so after this we make it with a, like the whole pack with the, with the bms and everything and then we test it again to make sure that everything works fine so let me just get this straight you are discharging all the batteries and then bringing them back up to make yep. sure that they're all working properly this, this is basically it yeah. you do that to every single cell every single cell and then when, when they all combine together we do it again also you do it again of course yeah we need to make sure <laughs> that it's in the highest performance okay level. i love that okay yeah. great Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? 
Uh, we'll just look around the corner here. We have a 500 amp uh, testing machine. So 500 amp tester. Yeah, 500 amp to make sure that the BMS shuts off if it if it, there's a short or there's a it goes over it goes over its spec and it's discharged for some reason. There's something wrong. Um, the battery needs to be able to shut down. So we test that shutdown procedure with this the, the BMS. We can also test any components. We can test uh, breakers at, at high amp to make sure they shut off. We can test. Um, Batteries. We can actually test cells to make sure that they, uh, that they, um, you know, to, to see how they 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 handle a high amp discharge. Was that something like that run? <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't know. Okay. <laughs> I honestly don't know. So when they come out of the tester, this is an example of finished product. We have uh, five bays. This is one of five bays. All of this that you see here is all finished product up there, up here. Um, this is all of our Condor Elite. For example, we just did a big run of Condor Elite battery. Condor Elite, that's one of your batteries. That's one of our batteries, yeah, 48 volt. That's we a have, massive order. We have finished product out here. Yeah, a lot of these are pre-sold already. They're just sitting here waiting to be drop shipped to our, our uh, business customers. There's gonna be a part two, everybody, and we're gonna kind of go over all the different batteries that you have here at bigbattery.com. But uh, Condor Elite, that is actually a bird, I believe, correct? So all of our uh, batteries are named after animals. Thank you. That's what I was makes, getting at. Makes it easier because uh, it's a. It, <laughs> we have birds and we have we have fish and we have all kinds of things. It depends <laughs> on the application. We have a waterproof battery that's a seal, S C A L for <laughs> boat. Okay. Bolt. This look at the size of the warehouse, everybody. Hi, Graham. Hi. <laughs> this is just one bay. <laughs> yeah, one of five. You said. Yeah. Lots of testing, lots of work. They're doing business. They're not even listening to me. I know. <laughs> this is Vernon. This is I'm our... so glad I started recording early, by the way. Uh, we can edit this, right? Vernon is our solar integration expert. Solar integration expert? Yeah. yeah okay. So it's kind of don't know what... SI... Slash business to business development. Oh, okay. SIE. So you're doing... So Big Battery is going to start selling kits? Can I say that? Yeah. Big... Well, we're selling yeah, we're solar kits right that. now. You already have, then. We already are, yeah. Okay. Great. So... And for uh, another business development... Uh, we have as industrial, we have Carlos Calton, and then we have David Rubens for a golf cart. We all do other things too. We have a, uh, a couple of general B2B guys who aren't here today. Did you guys intentionally match shirts, or, or is that, that like was, is that a dress uh, code? Luck, luck of the draw. <laughs> sure was. That or they hacked into my phone and found out what I was wearing. Yeah, yeah, that, awesome. Do you want to introduce yourself now that you walked in? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, my name is Carlos. I. Um, in charge of client success here at Big Battery. Client success? Yes. That's a term? What is <laughs> yeah. what is client success? Is now, now I'm really interested. It is, it is now. Um, I expedite some orders. I also help a lot with customer service and returns and repairs. And well, a people little bit of everything, been, logistics, operations. Really? People have been following my channel. I am a big advocate of good customer service. So if anybody has bad customer service, I now know who to blame. Yes, okay. absolutely. We, we, do, the we actually so blame him for all the bad <laughs> I'll take all the blame. All right, great. Thank you, Carlos. Over here, we have web development. Uh, we have a web dev office here. We have a web dev. We have uh, four developers. Why don't, so, you do, why don't you take I will actually uh, ask you, or, or you, um, yeah. your guys' website is really good. Thanks. Yeah, so we actually have uh, a number of different web developers. We have a database manager. This is their office there. And then down the hall, we won't go all the way down there, but we got accounting and then uh, yeah, a couple other uh, sectors of big battery there that helps us run smooth. Here we have uh, customer success, uh, another department of customer success and tech support. Um, I love they, how you guys call it customer success instead well, of customer we, service. We, we like to make sure our customers have success with our products. So I love that uh, so much more than customer service. I'm exactly, sorry. Right? I, I, did you guys coin this term? Is this, is this something you guys <laughs> no, made up? This is no, this, this has been a term for a while, but uh, nonetheless, we, we do like to make sure our customers have success and we make sure we give top uh, grade A customer success and uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I, we just met Carlos, which is the, uh, I guess exactly. the, the guy that runs all of this in here? Uh, yeah, he, he helps work he, in He uh, does conjunction. the customer success side for the business to business contract. Okay, so yeah. that's why he's make going sure back and forth. Make sure stay happy and follows up with them and make sure that they're, uh, they got the product they expected. So not only do you sell to these big businesses, but you sell directly to, you know, Joe Schmoes like me. Correct. You're in Deep. the sales room right now. I so am. These, okay. Yes. These are these are the this is the uh, the primary sales room. So, so if like if I'm like buy a battery off of you and I'm like, what the heck did I just buy and how do I plug it in? That's tech support. <laughs> no, two for tech support. Okay, great. It's not just plugging in, it's wiring and all that good jazz. But you guys get what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, uh, great. We're back to my office right here. I don't know that we did we did we go in here yet? We did not go in here. Okay. This is uh. Next to my office. 
is a media department, so media department way nicer than mine. Handles. Uh, we do video editing. We do uh, product uh, spec sheets and all that stuff. Um, some website design, kind of. Some of it comes starts here, and we showcase products and we film. You know, some of our assembly videos and other things in here and take uh, product photos. So my man right here, are you in charge of the YouTube and editing and all that stuff or we got dual, uh, yeah, dual kind part? Yeah, okay. kind of a mix match here. Okay. Videographer, editor on one hand uh, and then yeah, I pretty much do like social media management and I work with uh, Graham who you've met uh, in marketing efforts and things like that. So yeah, this is our studio space. Uh, we shoot a lot of stuff here. And all right, so who's running your Instagram? Better. We need to boost that bad boy up, okay? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, we, we need to boost that up. We need to boost the YouTube up. Oh, Come exactly. on now. Yeah, go uh, big battery. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, big. It's all big battery, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. At big battery exactly. ink. Yeah. At big battery ink. Okay. So, so you might know Scott from some of our product videos. He features himself in the product videos. Yeah, of course you would. The uh, YouTube channel. You can see my face plastered all over there. I yeah. love you using Premiere Pro. That's what I use. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. you know what you're doing. Program. You're probably way better than me. Maybe I'll just hire you to do all my videos from now nope. on. <laughs> nope. He goes, nope. Uh, awesome. What are we working on? Anything today? Anything tomorrow? Anything? Uh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we got an installation video queued up. Uh, so that'll be the next video on our channel. Wait a minute. Uh, you guys do installation videos? Yeah. For yeah. Uh, our golf cart batteries, for our wall, mount, uh, wall mounted uh, home system battery. Uh, I think that was kind of your entire thing, your whole kit and caboodle. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the only thing left is to meet the CEO. The like CEO, yeah. and it's there's a big do not disturb on there. So. <laughs> yeah, we might have to wait a moment. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. wait. We're gonna we're gonna actually end this video here, everybody, and we're going to actually grab Eric after he's done with his meeting. Eric is the CEO, and we're going to go into I guess this room. Can we show this room? Yeah, let's so go. We're gonna show this room where. Right over here, and. Right now is this have, all of your other accolades? Look at you. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is a number of things that we've done. Uh, we have a number of Guinness World Records. Um, right here, this is just one of the things. One of the things we did was help hospitals. Like, we didn't we didn't do it for any other reason other than we just wanted to help. So oh, wow, good we, for you. Yeah, we uh, gave some hospitals some uh, solar panels to keep, keep them up and running. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, this one is the world record, uh, the Guinness World Record for uh, greatest distance by electric vehicle on a single charge oh my so yeah and we can show you a little bit more about that yeah uh, uh, and, and then this is this is the room where all the all the fun's gonna happen in a minute and we're gonna talk about the rhino the kong um all of these i know one of these is the husky i think it's right over there yeah, right here um and then we've got the owl that's in the on this table as well as the eagle as well on that table and we're going to talk about that with eric as well as graham and hopefully marshall will join us in a separate video that was a lot of information. Hopefully you guys enjoyed yourselves and we are going to, uh, again, end this now and just stay tuned for part two of bigbattery.com in the next video.